win now. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's Godan. So, the rising tide, it's all over. What an awesome event. You can see I got it done. If you take a screenshot or slow it down, pause it, you'll see that I use just a slight bit over 8,000 gems. Why? Because I had to. I'm a little bit upset though, because I could have did it without using any gems. If I had the time, it is possible. With this event, I tried the Cap PP, hitting nothing but undefended lands. The Warpstone drops were plentiful. The four-star drops were plentiful. The three-star Titan drops were plentiful. As you saw, there are some drops that only gave you two. Why would you say? Well, I hit lands that were way too little. I was surprised, but only gave two drops. So the warp stones were good. The Titan drops were good. Saw some three-star Titans that I have never seen in a drop. I have two Val ones. A great Logu. A Luna. It was impressive. But, again... It still took time. Now I know somebody on Facebook, Cogdis Durgan, congrats to you for doing the whole event without spending any monies and getting two Poseidons. I got myself one. Got through the first eight levels without using any gems except for one Portal Stone Refresh. And then I had to gem levels 9 and 10. There was no way around it. A lot of things, a lot of circumstances came up where I could not grind. I even lost all Saturday. Passed out. Anyways, what a great event. I hope it was good for you as well. Now, as you can see, 451 lands captured. The most I've ever done. I wish I could have racked up and got about, you know, a thousand raids in. A thousand caps. Just couldn't do it. Looking at this, again, it is way doable for a free-to-play player. You just got to have the time. And was the Titan worth it? I'd say so. I think it was more than worth it. Now it's just time to level them up. Again, I apologize there was no live stream. But until next time, as always, relax, enjoy, be balanced, have fun, and take care.